Let's get a blast from the past. This is from Renegade Press in the 80s, Robin Snyder's Revolver. This is an anthology series like never before, and it stars uh, Steve Ditko's Star Guider, who is a new character by him and Jack C. Harris back in the day. Now, it doesn't all the, the books don't star, star him. There's just a bunch of different stories in here, but Star Guider is a sort of serial. It's it's uh, their, their own comics, but the characters do progress a little bit as they go on. Now, this is a, a neat little character. There's like this uh, this wilderness in space, and Star Guider is like this, like, uh, he's a guide. He guides you through the stars, Star Guider. And uh, in this first one, this guy's seeking passage, trying to find his home world. And you can see, like, this is all black and white, so you just get Steve Ditko's great work on the lines. And look at the designs. I mean, he just does such unique designs every single time. I always talk about uh, Ditko in this way, that there's people in comics who are definitely draftsmen. They can copy what comes before. Even when they're making original characters, they seem like they're other characters, or they seem like somebody else's other characters. It seems like there's a lot of copying going on. Steve Ditko really creates. He comes up with things that are super unique and beautiful. And uh, Jack C. Harris, as a writer, really complimented this a lot, because this Star Guider uh, sort of thing is such a unique concept. So uh, he's got a rival who's a woman right here, uh, and she is, uh, of course, wanting to guide this guy to his home. Uh, but he goes with Star Guider, and she gets mad about that. <laughs> and uh, and here's some beautiful, if you look at the Steve Ditko science fiction stuff, uh, just the space scenes and all that are just absolutely stunning. Uh, I could just stare at these for hours. Each panel just is so rich. And, I, and look at how many panels per page that Steve Ditko, I mean, does. A lot of artists would refuse to do that as well. Eventually, he gets back to his home. They get chased in this whole deal. They think there's going to be this treasure going on. Uh, and it turns out the twist is that the guy was trying to get back to his home so he could die because he was dying and just be buried there. There was no treasure. <laughs> and uh, and Star Guider walks away just being like, you guys are idiots trying to loot from people. Uh, very, very Ditko-esque way of doing things. Even though Jack C. Harris wrote this, it feels almost like a Ditko offering in a way, uh, in the way that his independent books did things. And I think that's why they uh, gelled so well together. Now, what Jack C. Harris adds to it is his dialogue is a little crisper. Uh, then when Ditko does it himself, his uh, I, I'd say the, there's not as, there's not like the political lectures in there. You get the story immersion a little bit better. I love their pairing. Uh, I think these guys uh, are are meant for each other in comics. Good stuff. Robin Snyder's got a little essay here uh, under the gun with some uh, with some different letters going on. We get uh, there's a couple like uh, cartoonist uh, pages in here which we see. And they're, they're, they're cute, fun things. Marshall of the Zodiacs, a neat little story. And I actually don't know who did these, um, but this is a neat uh, story as well with beautiful art uh, that that uh, is just a, a one-off uh, sort of science fiction tale as well. And it's about a gambler in space who, like, uh, who goes to court and he catches another uh, sort of gambler in cheating by cheating himself. Planet Zog, like I mentioned, there's a couple cartoon pages. We get Star Lad, and this is beautiful art as well. I don't know who did these, to be honest. Uh, who who is uh who is in charge of these? Uh, Robin Snyder Star Lad is the deal. Robin Snyder Star Lad Renegade. Uh, let's go Revolver. I'll look this up on a recorded video. I'll edit, I'll fix this and edit, guys. I really won't, but here it is. Uh, who is else working on this? Um, the artists are. Um. Bill Dubé, Rich Margopoulos, uh, and Tom Mandrake. Okay. These are these are some heavy hitters uh, from a long time ago, but this story is really good, too. It's about a kid who's dying, and he gets to become a superhero from the stars because of different uh, uh, forces at work. Uh, and then the parents notice that he's died at the end, and the end, but he's got a smile on his face. Really, uh, this is a really compelling story. Actually, I honestly liked it better than the Ditko stuff, which I was not expecting out of this. Some advertisements, old school comics, and we get one more uh, Star Guider story. Now, uh, in this one, we learn about the 49 planets and we kind of learn, or moons, I'm sorry. And there's just uh, and the different systems in here. And, uh, and uh, we learn a little more about the universe in this one. Now, Star Guider is now being chased by the girl from the first story. She wants to become his apprentice, it turns out, uh, as he's trying to make his path uh, to find this lost planet. Uh, pretty neat stuff through here as well. And again, beautiful science fiction epic uh, uh, that we find uh, from Ditko one more time. So great issue. This is quality comics. And and here's the cool thing. it's uh, They're not they're pretty cheap on eBay. You can find these for like five bucks. And there's six issues of a revolver overall. 
So uh, not a bad way to find this stuff. This is quality indie fare like uh, never exists these days. And uh, what a cool anthology concept. 10 out of 10 from me. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.